in half an hour. <laughs> I don't want to be closing the, that that play, that door and you know what I mean you leave outside. So just make sure, you know what I mean. Yeah, I um, appreciate you coming on the show very early. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So basically, as you can see, I'm going to be giving you a very healthy recipe this evening. It's something different and something I want you to do at home on a regular basis. Now, try and avoid using a lot of that powder. Oh yes, the powder. We know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna try and see how we can try and make our food taste better, taste good, and flavor, and all of these things. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're gonna to be doing a curry eggplant. And I'm gonna be using a lot of natural seasoning instead of using a lot of the seasoning, this that seasoning. Yeah, okay. So if it's something where you guys are interested in, please let me know. And you know, what I mean, we're gonna show you exactly how to do this beautiful curry, curry eggplant. Jen, I see that you are very early. You know what I mean? Because knowing that I, as you as you, you knowing that you're a co-pilot, you're not supposed to be late, you know. <laughs> Knowing that you're, knowing that you're a co-pilot, you should not be late for your flight. You know what I mean? But anyway, greetings more than you're more than welcome. Thank you so much for the support what you put into the show. Also, thank you so much, and you know what I mean. I really appreciate it. It's just goodness and blessing and prosperity. You know what I mean? And the support. You know what I mean? Good vibes. Thank you so much. Anyway, we're going to be starting off on the first. Just to let you guys know what's going on in the pot. Craig, what's going on? Still celebrating or you just chilling at the moment now? <laughs> yes, Jen, knowing that you're a, even Craig, you know, Craig is one of the co-pilots, you know, you have to be careful, you know, because if you're ever late, the plane take off without the pilot, the co-pilot. <laughs> but anyway, good vibes. It is just um, fun, you know what I mean? It's just having a little bit of laugh and just giving thanks. That's what we are doing this evening. All right. So the good news this evening, guys, you can see that I'm talking about this um, orange peel tea over the last couple of days. We've been making. It's over. <laughs> All right, Craig, big up yourself. Thank you so much. So you guys can see that we're talking about the orange peel tea and the, the benefit behind it. I'm telling you, it is very... Jen, make sure you are doing the orange peel tea, man. Drink it in the morning. And, you know what I mean? The benefit behind it is an amazing. You get no cold, no flu. You know what I mean? It's just keep you healthy. And that's the whole mission of this right back till for the next six months. It has really started. And we decided we want to do some healthy recipe for the next six months. Now, you may see I've been uploading some video with like meat or meat product or stuff like that. Those are some videos which I have very long time and I'm trying to get rid of those videos. And I got a lot of video in the back which got in my hard drive which need editing up. So I'm gonna work on those videos and get rid of them. That's for people who love their meat, you know what I mean? But if you're on the healthy side of Chef Ricardo, stick around, don't go anywhere. So, greetings everyone. We got red peppers and yellow pepper ori. Um, we got the eggplant. We got lots of natural stuff which we're gonna be working on with today. And this is what I want to explain to you. We want to try to cut out um, the olive oil seasoning because the olive oil seasoning got a lot of salt and a lot of sugar. Unless you are getting your natural home seasoning, which is made from the factory. I know that there's not S A S M G in it, no salt, no sugar, and no preservative, and all of these things, which is going to help you with your blood sugar and with your high blood pressure. Simit, big up yourself. So this is what I want to explain to you guys that if you can't get a hold of those kind of seasons, try your best and cook with a lot natural seasoning as much as you can. If that makes sense, when the video finish, leave your comments. Secondly, remember guys, there are 50% on Black Friday sale with the book, so do not miss the sale. Sharon, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. On the show. Black Friday sale has got a big, massive 50% discount on my new book right here. If you don't get the book, lots of people talking about the book. I said, Chef Ricardo, you know what? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Spite didn't have a lot of recipe in it, but you know what I mean? We have to support it because you've been doing a good, good job by helping us at home. Good vibes. Positive news out there. We got a few which you still have to learn from others. 
some people might say, oh, I prefer a recipe book or I prefer this or I prefer that. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I just share some story with some people, with some of you guys that, not some people, sorry about that, with you guys to know that. Listen, if you are in this world and you want to do something, there's nothing in this world can stop you. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could even be 99, 190. You still can push forward and do what you want to do. All right? Yeah. So basically, this is what's going to happen. And I'm going to be using sweet potato instead of couscous. That's what I want to explain to you. The reason why I want to use the sweet potato because sweet potato is very healthy for all of the beautiful people out there are suffering from high blood pressure high cholesterol and inflammation and also um, um, sugar. Sweet potato is more healthy. It had the orange one, it had the black sweet potato, it had the blue one, it had the, 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 we're not talking about normal potato, we're talking about sweet potato. It's more healthy for you to have it at home more than you're going to be using um, the, the, the bulk, the, what do you call it, the couscous or you're going to use rice or pasta. This is much more healthier. Tech Chef Ricardo advice. In 2023, a lot of people waste their time unnecessary doing other stuff. 2024, you need to educate yourself to look after your health at home. All right. Secondly, you can use, I like my olive oil. Cook with my olive oil. And the reason why I'm going to show you why I like my olive oil. So what you want to do with your olive oil, put two teaspoons of olive oil in the front pan like this. All right, guys. I'm going to give you a beautiful... I'm going to be doing a few talking and explain some things to a lot of people at home. Hot chocolate, big up yourself with jerk chicken and rice and peas. Thank you so much for coming on the show. So we're going to show you a few tips and ideas of things. What you should do at home. When you are cooking in 2024 and this is this is uh, this is not from me um i listen to a lot of professional people who have been in the medical field and i watch a lot of videos and a lot of things and learn and i share my ideas with you guys so i'm gonna say something to you when you're cooking at home try and use mostly tomato in your cooking unless you're allergic to tomato tomato is very good and it's got um if you cook tomato down into olive oil you get like a pea i like a pea or something for, i don't quite remember from it but it's very very healthy very good for your immune system try and use a lot of colorful vegetables in your diet on a regular basis it will help you at home all right try and cut down on the salt and sugar in your cooking try and cut down on the powder season because we recognize that the powder season is coming with a lot of um, salt and sugar. And that's still um, sparking your high blood pressure and your cholesterol level. So be careful of that. Sure, and good, nice one. Nadine, thank you so much. So these are some tips and ideas for you guys. We're cooking sweet potato. The reason why, as I explain it to you, instead of couscous. Because... Sweet potato is a little bit more healthy for you and it will help you with your immune system. You don't need to put any sugar and you don't need to put any salt. You don't need to put any black pepper or anything in the sweet potato when you're cooking it. Cook it natural. These are tips and ideas to manage you in 2024 when it comes at home. A lot of people are saying, you know what? I see the message, man. People are saying, you know, I'm going to change my diet, Chef Ricardo. I have to. And I'm saying... Is one of the best thing you could ever do in your life. Why? You don't sick, you don't feel pain, and everything is good. Um, so I'm just gonna remove this. Lovely. So this is one of my favorite, which I, I do learn when I was watching most of the videos then. And YouTube and different social media. Cooking tomato in hot olive oil is very, very good. So 
we are putting tomato inside of the pot at the moment and we're going to put some as i said in 2020 even at christmas thanksgiving a lot of people will be cooking try and have a lot of colorful vegetable in your diet it will help you guys you know what i mean because a lot of people still love their meat so but it will help you garlic right here Jamaican curry powder I'm using. Gonna put a nice lovely tablespoon of curry powder. And if you have um paprika just put a little bit of paprika a little bit of turmeric Combine all of that together and look at that beautiful paste like you're making a lovely paste. That is amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to use some seeds, some seeds like cumin seeds, give it that beautiful color, that beautiful taste, that color. Because these seeds bring a nice flavor to your pot when you are cooking at home. The flavor does come in amazing. We got some fennel seeds. We're going to use some of these also inside of it. A few grains. So you can smell that curry getting a nice little bit of burn right there and that's what we need right there all right so what we're gonna do also I got some fresh thyme and rosemary we're gonna put that inside of it 
turn off that heat a little bit. All right, and now we're going to put some These are some, um, what do call this now? Spring onion. Lovely. So that curry just burn off into the pot and just give it that excellent Similar like taste, man. That cement are amazing. So what we're gonna do now? We're going to put some peppers. As I said, put some pepper in it. Will make the different uh, sauce. Excellent. So these are the things I'm telling you you want to do. You want to use as much of these things in your regular diet at home. And you will see some amazing benefit from it. Alright. Excellent. That looking amazing. Similar like burn, man. Flavor of the curry. So the aubergine, what you want to do with the aubergine, I'm going to show you exactly what you want to do with this beautiful aubergine by removing the skin. So I remove the skin from the, the aubergine and as you guys can see we burn the curry because burning the curry guys just bring it a nice flavor from the season together it is amazing look at that I got a little bit more of the very small aubergine and this can do a lot of things at home Now, back in the days when I used to cook, guys, I'll be telling you something. I'll be using all different kind of season. You know, I just thank God, man, for that. So I changed my diet. And I'm just feeling amazing in my immune system. Excellent. That looks delicious, guys. When I said it, it looks amazing. So what you want to do, just give it a nice stir like this. So that's the way how the curry look. Alright. Take a good look at that. 
So what we're going to do, this is some coriander seed. We're going to put a few coriander seed in the pot. So we use a lot of those natural season. We're going to be using some carry away season, some carry away seeds. Amazing. So instead of we put in all purpose seasoning, this a kind of season, that the kind of season, we are using the natural seeds, the natural seeds them to bring in the flavor what we are looking for in this kind of cooking. All right. No, I do like my <laughs> I do like my veg stock guys, you know what I mean? But the veg stock, I know it's got some things in it which I me personally I don't really 100% with this veg stock because of how they made it. But it's at the end of the at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world, guys. You know what I mean? It's not like but you know, and I like say, and it's also vegan, you know what I mean? And I like your, um, you know, you can just use it because it's still going to be diluting down when you're cooking it. So I'm going to put one of the veg stock inside of it. Because we are not using any powder season like all of those kind of all purpose and this kind of season. We are trying to keep it naturally as much as we can. Give it a nice custard. Now, aubergine doesn't take too long to cook. It is very easy to cook and yeah, very, very easy. All right, Jerry, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Good morning, Chef Ricardo and everyone in California. Big up yourself, California. Thank you so much. Yes, Craig. Thank you so much. Looking good and looking nice. So what we're going to do? All right. I got some of my favorite leftover from yesterday, which is some of the tomato, like a tomato sauce or a tomato soup, whatever you wanna call it. You guys see, I made that yesterday and I was talking about it, oh, it's so beautiful. And we should have that in our daily, daily cooking at home, all right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a little bit of it also inside of it to bring in that flavor instead of I'm gonna have water I'm gonna have some tomato sauce here it is inside of it all right you can use water if you like to you don't have to use the tomato sauce you can use water Give it a stir. As you guys can see, that looking amazing. Look at that, guys. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is put the Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper in it and that's going to bring in a nice like, flavor to it guys, alright? So as you guys can see how that looking nice and lovely. So what we're going to do, let's taste the sauce in the meantime, it's cooking down.
All right, let's taste the sauce and see how this tastes. Mm, perfect. 100% guys. That is delicious. All right, so what we're gonna do, just crack a little bit of pepper in it. All right, a little bit of pepper. And once you put that pepper in it, let's put a few um, cloves. That's the cloves that bring off that lovely flavor on top of it right there. So, all right. Yeah. Beautiful flavor. And then we're going to put some of the, the Jamaican pimento seed, Jamaica Valley pimento seed. Yeah, man, big up Jamaica Valley. The pimento seed is amazing. It's like it's different from every other pimento seed I normally use. All right. Yeah. Um, so as you as guys can see, bare natural stuff. And what we're going to do next, because we're still working at it the same way. Put a few bay leaf on top of it and make it cook in that flavor straight into it. So we, we use using bay natural stuff. I use that vet stock, but at the end of the day, we're using a lot of natural stuff. So what I do, I turn on the heat a little bit, allow the heat for penetrating to the, through the bay leaf and make it cook down. Yeah, back in the days when I used to cook in the school, I used to cook this thing a lot of um, eggplant aubergine. Because remember, I used to cook for like 800 kids. And I did that for, uh, for about almost 10 years. The techniques in cooking for Chef Ricardo, I still have it same way. 10 years cooking for kids in the UK, in some of the most posh school in London. I've been there done it and I'm telling you these are like you know like Jamie Oliver all of these been there done with them uh, Marco T all of these big top chef I got I got it guys sometime I'm cooking in the kitchen I know exactly what I'm doing because I've been there and I've done it I've passed through some of the biggest chef them in London enough of these BBC chef are you seeing I've been there with them Pass through them before and cook for their kids. Cooking for 800 kids in the school, you're dealing with all uh, kids with allergy. So you're making spaghetti bolognese for the day. You got kids who doesn't cannot have tomato. You got kids cannot have spring onion, white onion, herbs, season, powder. You're gonna have to know what you're doing. I did that for the last 10 years. Been working with some of the most top chef them from Vietnam. Big chef, big, big, big chef guys. I'm talking about superstars. And those guys still look up to me up to till today because I used to give them Jamaican twists in the cooking when we used to work in the school. We used to, I work in the school and give them a Jamaican day. We give them a day for Jamaica. Cook, we cook animal meat like you know, like in France, you know, they cook like frog meat, all of those things. I've been there, done it, cook it. Donkey meat, been there, done it, cook it. Never eat it, though. <laughs> Guys, the experience behind Chef Ricardo cooking, I could do a TV production for itself only because I've been there and I've done it. Ten years cooking in the school for kids. This is not like a... I have it. The experience behind it is big. Big, 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 big. Uh, if you don't have the experience cooking for kids in the school, like if you don't know what you're doing, you've been serious problem. Very, very serious problem, guys. So, yeah, it was a good experience.
very, very good experience cooking for all of these kids back in the days. You know what I mean? It was a very good experience working with some top chef. Very good experience. And yeah, it was a good, back in the days, very, very good time. Eros, big up yourself, meat free Monday. You know what I mean? We still got it right here. All right, let's look at it right here. Yeah, this vegetables, I remember back in the days, they used to use it and make um, like a wrap for vegan. So we will roast off the vegetables and cook it down into tomato sauce, put it into the wrap, put it back in the oven, bake it and put some vegan cheese or you use normal cheese if you're not allergic to that cheese. So we do it like three separate ways. Definitely. And it cooked down lovely and nice. All right. Yeah, so this is like European vegetables. I've been there and done with them a lot of those things, guys. This behind the scene is amazing. So now when I change my diet, I know exactly say I'm saying to myself, you know, I'm so happy, man. Because back in the days, I'm telling you, I used to be a head chef in the school for decades. Being a head chef, you're gonna have to know exactly what you are doing. Yeah, being a head chef in the school for the last 10 years working in the school being a head chef and cooking for a lot of students i saw some of those students back in the days and they were like oh chef ricardo remember you used to cook for us and i said yes very very good time guys meat free monday very good vibes i want to say something i think everything has done now guys you know what i mean because the eggplant doesn't take too long to cook. So now the reason why I know that we can use a lot of natural stuff and cook with, because let me give you some tips and ideas why I know. When you're working in the school, I don't know if you guys work in the school, but I, when I used to work in the school, like 10 years, 10 years I worked in the schools. I'm probably about 15, 10 to 15 years in the school in the UK. All right. When you're cooking in the school, you're not allowed to use powder season. Um, we mostly use paprika and we use mixed herb. All of these, what we, what we use in the school, we use mixed herb, um, oregano, basil, thyme. All of these things we use every single day. But we used to use this thing a lot. Um, like a thing named, um, it's like a veg stock, but it's also a vegan and vegetarian veg stock. So you can use it in anything worldwide. Just like what you see, I just use it. So we used to use that a lot to give the food flavor and to give it taste. Now when we have a Jamaican day in the school, I come in with my own thing and I will blend up my season. I got the video, some of the videos of them on my YouTube channel. Oh, I used to marinate the meat, the pork, the beef, the chicken. Like massive load of pork and load like uh, four or five big keg of chicken. I would be marinating it. And I will blend up the natural Jamaican season and blend up the natural season and blend it. Because you know you're working in the school, so you're getting a lot of stuff to show you guys how to cook. So, so when I'm cooking all this kind of food right now and I change my diet, I am so happy because I know what happened back in the days. So look at this. Amazing. All right. This is beautiful and nice. Beautiful, guys. Very, very nicely. So, just to cut the story short, if you guys are cooking at home, you can do the same thing. Because your kids, when they go to school, they, don't, they can't cook with a whole heap of powder seasoning in the school. They cook it naturally. Chicken does, they doesn't marinate chicken. They may put a little bit of thyme and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's how they cook in the school for kids. Ask the kids when they come from school or they cook. They always say, Mama, I don't like the food in the school. They don't cook like how you cook at home. Why? Because they, that's all they teach. And that's what you need to cook at home. And let them <laughs> keep them on that kind of way. But anyway, yeah, good vibes. Good vibes. All right. Let's simply share this beautiful and an amazing, incredible food which just has made. With you guys this evening. Something that's simple. I should have gone to the shop and get myself some vegetable. I did not. You know what I mean? But the 
This is still good. It's not the end of the week. The end of the day, still, still really good. All right. So what we're going to do, keep the story short and spicy. All right, lovely. Look at that. Let's move the potato and let's remove this beautiful and amazing. Let's put this over here, guys. Hope you guys understand how Chef Ricardo kitchen run. Some of you guys know how the kitchen run already. All right, I use this little cooker because it, if I use a normal cooker, it's just gonna break up and all sorts of stuff gonna happen. Remember to get yourself a copy of the book and support Chef Ricardo cooking. I wanna take the time out to say thank every one of you guys who follow me from January until November the 6th. God is good. What more can I say? There's nothing else to say. More than the power of God is amazing. All right. Now, as I say, we are not, I don't have any vegetable this evening. So we got some sweet potato. We should, sweet potato is very good, guys. Very, very good for you. All right. Oh, that's all right, man. That's pretty, pretty good, guys. All right. Then here it is. Look at this, guys. I'm just simply showing you what you guys can cook at home. And even this one, you can cook a large portion of it and put it into your fridge. And then you can take it from your fridge and have it in time you are ready. We got the Jamaican Scotch Bunny Pepper. You don't have to use it. That is just an option. Oh. From Chef Ricardo. You don't have to use it, guys. outside outside come it's just after four and it's like 12 o'clock in the middle night wow time has changed time is not like before not the time at home you know guys We're talking about the natural time <laughs> because when chef recorder talking the people they might get twisted up all right You know, I just put a little bit of avocado right here. Okay. Just on the plate. You don't have to. It's option. You know what I mean? Normally, I would go and get some nice stuff with vegetables and all these things. But, you know, when you're working, yeah, man, you don't have time for certain things. Yeah. So put a little bit of this on top of it just like that all right and then just like that just like that guys and that looking excellent in the kitchen from chef ricardo cooking all right now this is a simple little meal especially if you're a person who are suffering from certain kind of illness this is something you want to make at home a little bit more healthy a little bit more delicious and it's really more better than you're gonna cook certain kind of so today i guarantee you 95 percent of the world has cooked rice today unless even vegan cook rice all right this is eggplant curry all right so 95 mario big up yourself what's going on so 95 percent of the world cook rice today cook rice during the week and they will save rice on a Monday and say and eat some at this. Cook it rice on a Sunday and then have it on a Monday. I used to do the same thing back in the days. And but, but you know, when you're younger, you don't understand what's going on. <laughs> what is that pepper with? 
that scotch bonnet pepper jamaican scotch bonnet pepper very hot and spicy so when you burst that all you know that now you know what i mean that's good for your immune system you know so a lot of people eat rice during the week and and also weekend but i try my best not to eat rice wild rice is not bad if you guys can get wild rice but brown rice and black rice and the red rice blue rice pink rice those kind of rice is not good for you just turn into high blood pressure and it's also give you sugar you know what i mean just like potato white potato i don't eat it much still but now and then i put it in my soup but it's not one of my things sweet potato is more healthier sweet potato is very good for you and Cook with a lot of tomato on a regular basis is very good for you. And that's why I speak yesterday about all the ladies must tell their husband to change their diet. It is important for you to speak to your husband because it's all about for the long term. You know what I mean? Not for the short term, long term. You know what I mean? When you reach 65, 75, you're not supposed to be, you know what I mean, run up and down all over the whole place. You're supposed to be at home enjoying life, traveling the world at the age of 70. I was watching that 85 year old lady still working. 85 and still working <laughs> i don't know if you guys see that one 85 and still working you got 85 you got 75 and still working so you tell you they're still strong and healthy and if you listen to what they said change your diet change your diet that's all i've been hearing eat healthy eat good food <laughs> cut out the salt and the sugar and the butter <laughs> that's all they say so you know what i mean some grandparents now is saying you know what i mean do this do that at home and you know what i mean and yeah you're gonna have to follow them story because they know exactly what they're saying good vibes anyway beautiful people thank you so much for meat free monday meat free monday is the day we don't cook meat we try to eat a lot of natural vegetables and keep the thing healthy and delicious at home right here this is my brand new book get yourself a copy of the book and support chef ricardo cooking all right so you might have say where can i get the book on Amazon. Go over to Amazon and get yourself a copy of the book and support Chef Ricardo Cooking, guys. From poverty to purpose, Chef Ricardo secret recipes to success. All right, little bit of story inside of it. Read it and make yourself available for 2020, 2024 if you want to do something with your life, something to to make you can learn and teach your kids them at home. Educate yourself in 2020, 2024, not to sit at home and watching a certain kind of program that can educate you. You need to educate yourself what to make your life better and educate yourself to look after yourself at home when you get ill or you get sick what to do a lot of people spend a lot of time in 2023 watching unnecessary program at home which doesn't help you you need to watch program to help you lots of chefs online lots of um doctors and people talking about different kind of things for your immune system you see the good things we want for here people doesn't interested they like the pasa pasa and the mix up on blender but there are natural things are there to in, in, educate us for us to make our life better for a long term not the short term all right so 2020 24 these are things you need to look into yourself and say you know what last year i think i could have done this year i could have done a lot more but for real, I kind of lock back in a certain things. So I need to change up a lot of things. You need to write it down, pray over it, and ask the Lord to guide you through these things to make your life better in 2020, 24. Life still goes on. No matter what's going on right now in the world, you still have to go to work. You still have to pay your bills. You still have to eat. You still have to drink. You still have to take the, school, take the kids to school. You still have to cook your husband dinner or your girlfriend. Life still goes on. No matter what going on, if even something happened to your next door neighbor, life still goes on. It's just you have to just make yourself in the right place and start to say to yourself, 2020, 2024, I'm going to make myself available to certain things to educate myself in for the future. Do something at home and educate yourself and make your life more easier, not to make your life more complicated. You know what I mean? Sometimes some simple little things at home, you catch a little cold, a little flu, you run into the doctor, you run into the pharmacy, go buy medication. Natural stuff can help you at home. Natural things can protect you at home. Educate yourself for 2020, 2024. Not to sit down at home and watching a necessary program which not can help you. 
can help your kids. You know what I mean? It's not all about laughing and la 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 la. It's all about educating yourself to make your life much better for your future and for your kids and for your husband and for your family and your loved one at home. Big up on yourself, beautiful people. Catch you the next time with more recipes and more ideas. My name is Chef Ricardo. Please follow me. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments in the description box. Get yourself a copy of the book. And I want to take the time out and say big up every one of you guys who take the time and listen to the voice. Don't make it go in one ears and come out to the other one. Just listen and put things into consideration and learn good vibes.